There's a new folding phone on the way and today we'll be taking a look right after this. If you're new here and want to stay up to date with the latest in tech, please don't forget to hit subscribe followed by the bell. So a new folding phone was revealed in an official teaser video from Xiaomi and we've now had some renders of what the phone may look like. While the video didn't give too much away, Tech Configurations has created 3D concept renders of what they believe we're going to be seeing. On these renders, we can see an incredible looking device. It's got USB-C and dual speakers. It's got a camera punch hole on the front and a triple camera setup on the rear stacked vertically between the two folds. It's looking likely to be the first phone with a double fold and if it ends up looking anything like these renders, then they will definitely be getting my money. Unlike other manufacturers, Xiaomi have decided to go with two folds in their flexible device, which actually creates a wider display. Not only does the double fold allow for a better aspect ratio, there are other advantages such as using one fold to act as a stand. Unfortunately though, if we go by the current facts that we've already seen, we know these renders are incorrect in a few places. We had an earlier leak from Evan Blass where we can see the display does not have a punch hole camera and even in the teaser there does not look to be one. The triple cameras are also incorrect, I think tech configurations may be correct in their placement but the device will not be able to take pictures when folded as we can see from Xiaomi's teaser video that the folds actually join together. Although it is possible that Xiaomi's teaser was a prototype and the design could change but only time will tell. So Xiaomi's president, Lin Bin, previously shared us this teaser. It's an actual hands-on video of the device and again, it looks incredible. No name has been confirmed for the device yet, but there have been a couple of ideas such as Dual Flex or Mi Flex. They also put the question to Weibo to ask for consumer input. We can see from the video that the screen size looks to be reasonably large when unfolded, but still fits within Lin Bin's hand. When both sides are folded, it becomes a much smaller, more manageable screen, so this could be great for users that do watch a lot of media and want a larger screen but still have something that's easy to transport in their pocket. The only downsides I can see from this video is if we look at the screen in full screen mode, we can see it doesn't look completely flat. The top and the bottom appear to be bent slightly inwards, which could be a little frustrating. Now, of course, this could be just because it's not unfolded correctly, but at the same time, when it's a teaser video, you would have it looking at its best. Again, though, this may not be the finished product and maybe an early production model. When completely folded, however, it does look to fold very neatly. The screen orientation changes pretty quickly, and when the device is turned around, we can see it's very flat and compact. Although a worry here, of course, is when you're carrying it in your pocket, you now have a display on both sides so it could easily be scratched. Unfortunately, Xiaomi have given us no indication on specs, but with this being a folded device, I would imagine it will have more premium specs. I would expect the Snapdragon 855, along with a decent RAM configuration such as 8 or 10 gigs. Xiaomi's president claims that the double folded form factor of the Dual Flex or Mi Flex allows it to deliver a combined experience of tablet and smartphone. I like the fact that they've gone for something different as well. While Samsung have achieved the most difficult design with the inside flex, the Chinese manufacturers are opting for the flex on the outside. If this was cheap enough, I may even consider it, but while I don't normally use protective cases, I don't like the thought of carrying this round without one. While our flagships today are protected by Gorilla Glass 6, these flexible displays are of course plastic. I imagine a screen replacement is going to cost more than the phone's value, so definitely not something you want to damage. In terms of launch date and price, Xiaomi haven't given us anything at all yet. The launch is expected to be this year though, and Xiaomi have very low markups on their devices, so this will no doubt be cheaper than the Samsung Galaxy Fold and the Huawei Mate X. I'm pleased to see more innovation in the folding market though and look forward to hearing more about this, but as always, I'd like to know your thoughts down in the comments below. What do you think of this folding device? Who do you think has come up with the best design so far? And would you actually consider purchasing one? But thank you for watching the video and please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.